I'm David Fallis, the conductor of Choir 21. Well, Choir 21 is just recently formed, just a couple of years old, uh, an ensemble of singers dedicated to contemporary music. 21, I get asked, is it 21 singers? No, it's the 21st century. That's where the name comes from. And it's partly because it was formed, of course, under the auspices of Soundstreams, who already had a salon 21 going, so it was a nice fit. I think it's a great name. And uh, the number of singers does vary depending on the project a little bit. We've had, uh, we were just with the Toronto Symphony last week and there were just 16 um, for a little bit in a Quiltog piece. And then uh, for this we're 22 and we've been 24. Um, and um, so this is a very exciting opportunity really to work with one of the world's great choirs, um, the Stuttgart Chamber Choir, which is, of course has a long and storied history. And um, they're on tour in, in Canada so it was great to have this first chance to work, work together. Uh, of course, on the program, there's, we're doing some things on our own, or one big piece on our own, and they're doing some things on their own, as well, of course, the big Frainer new work. And then we're doing uh, a number of pieces together. And um, it's a great, I mean, first of all, they're a great choir, so it's, you can always learn something from everybody. And working, it's, it stretches people to work with a different conductor, of course, to be working with Frieder Berlioz, who has also a wonderful conductor and a great musician, great musical ideas. And, but of course, the way that he expresses things is always a little different than what per here, people here might be used to. So that's very good. It's great just to be able to stand in a row where the, when we're singing together, it's great. We, didn't, it's, we, we particularly chose repertoire that wasn't sort of um, very explicitly double choir, like sort of antiphonal effects, sort of a la Gabrielli or something, where you'd want to have one choir here and one choir there, and you'd sort of have a little bit, could be a bit us versus them, as opposed to all together. And so the pieces are very much chosen with that. So we've been able to seat in, in rehearsal, and then we, when we line up in the show, um, it's almost always one of Stuttgart and one of us, back and forth. And um, so you really learn a lot by listening to other singers, too. Um, in terms of, I mean, you have to use your ears a great deal, so that's always very useful for musicians <laughs> to actually have to use their ears. I mean, one, of course, assumes that musicians are always using their ears, but sometimes when you spend a lot of time reading music, and it's difficult music to read, so you have to focus on what's on, this, on the page sometimes, it is sometimes possible to sort of not quite be listening to the full extent. And so it's a good, when you have an opportunity, you think, oh my gosh, there's some sound coming from in my right ear or my left ear that's a little different than when we're just a group of us on our own. Um, so no, it's a, it's a, great, it's a great chance.